Hi everyone, let's talk about NLP here and let's talk about how do we process information in our minds. Well, how do we perceive, process information, how do we think, up? how do we distort this information, the input, the output and the entire process. That's what we're going to talk about in this video and learn this. And let me tell you before we proceed, as I have told you before as well, experience the experience when we do the entire process, when you hear me out. And you might also uh, feel like now that while well, I was talking about processing or processor, are we computers, Rudhima? Do we process information like computers? Um, yeah, exactly. We are like computers. We do have a processor inside our brain, which is acting all the time, which is working all the time. And the main point is that can we understand this computer unconscious computer which is working unconsciously and processing all this information unconsciously and can we then create more choices in this computer to have new programs of our own choice so let's talk about this process which i'm talking about so let's talk about this process of how do we process information in our minds in the book Whispering in the Winds, this process is also known as epistemology, the black box. It is also there in the new code NLP and is also there in the classic code NLP by the NLP Academy. And I am converting this process in a kind of an experience and a story for you to understand and you'll be able to notice the difference and the experience. So well, while you are looking at this screen, while you are hearing my voice, and while you are listening to this video and think about it listening to this video looking at me and wherever you're looking right now and whatever you are hearing now in a different way altogether while you were hearing and as you do that and you wonder that you're going to go and learn more deeper and you notice as you're going to go learn more deeper, you notice the movement in your toe finger now. You notice the movement in your toe finger now. And as you notice this movement or the way the toe finger is or the way the sensation there, you became more aware about it isn't it? It was there already and as I speak the people around me were also now noticing the way their toe finger is kept and they're becoming aware about how is it the sensation and the awareness of this experience and what you experience just now is awareness of something which is already there and your brain processed this information, the input which you just received and created a specific output in your body. This means that you already know how do you process information in your mind and maybe you can learn more by the way we will experience this more in this video ahead. There is something which just happened. Maybe you're also becoming aware of how is your back resting on the place where you're sitting just now? How is your back resting? Maybe the way you're sitting right now, chair or the couch or the bed or the sofa or wherever you are. And you are again becoming more aware about this input you're receiving and about this information. You're becoming more aware about how is your upper back or lower back resting. The information which was already there and it came up to your conscious mind traveled from your unconscious mind by the input I gave just now. And you wonder, Pritima, this means that we know a lot about it. Yes. Exactly. Now, the information which is running in your unconscious, we are making you aware at the conscious level. Our brain is receiving 
directly, indirectly, all these inputs and processing these inputs and giving us the output in a way of a response, non-verbal or a verbal. Let's take another example. When I ask you, don't think about, don't think at all, okay? Don't think about the yellow parrot. Don't think about the yellow color parrot. The bird yellow parrot. And you start thinking maybe about the yellow parrot or maybe someone is making the green parrot make look more yellow. Isn't it? Yeah, that's what you just did. And that's what your brain just did. Let's take a little different example also. And if I may ask you, now, don't think about those who hurt you the most. Don't think about them who hurted you, made you feel miserable, made you feel sad, made you feel hurtful. I just don't think about them. And maybe by now, without you even realizing, or people you may have realized you have someone's picture or a specific sound or that specific feeling of that hurt picture of something which hurted you a sound which hurted you or a feeling which hurted you and if you still feel this feeling of hurt as I'm talking to you right now as you listen to this right now and if you still feel that hurt, I invite you to just touch that part wherever you're feeling. If you're feeling here, touch and say thank you so much as we're going to also work on this part separately. So quickly shake it off, shake it off, shake it off as we're going to learn more about how is this entire process is happening. We're going to work on these issues separately in our live classes also, okay? So don't worry about that part. And let's know more and let's talk about how is this entire process happening? How are you processing this information? What is Rudhima talking about? What is Rudhima doing? What, how do we process this information in our mind? The input, the output, and the way the work of change can also bring in the way change work can start faster and we can create changes think about this the data travels in our mind in just milliseconds isn't it in this few seconds in this few minutes three different examples gave you three different internal representations of the way the data was traveling internally to you we process information internally we represent information internally it's just like the way you do a presentation and you have the PPDs doing a presentation to your people and then you use these visuals, you use your sound, it makes them feel, you're using a representation. And the same way, your internal mind also has a representation of what you see internally, hear and feel. And with the feeling, you also have other two senses, which is the way you smell and taste, which is also there for human to create different representations. So let's take the example of a yellow parrot, you remember? And let's go back to the yellow parrot to understand how do we process this information? What is this concept? And how can I utilize this concept more? So what happened there? You heard my voice, yellow parrot. Your mind picked up the word yellow. You heard my voice, yellow parrot, and your mind picked up the word yellow. And the way yellow looks like to you, and let me tell you, everyone yellow is so different, isn't it? The way different pinks is the way different yellows. So you deleted other colors, isn't it? You had many other colors in your life. You had green, you had pink, you had red, so many different colors. So your mind quickly, in a millisecond, deleted all the colors and just had yellow. Focus on your room maybe and turn around 
and see if you have any other yellow maybe the color of that book maybe the page of that book maybe the side of that something or any other thing maybe open the wardrobe and just focus on the yellow and you might have maybe missed that yellow which was already there so our brain has a filter which is called deletion and we delete information which is also useful at times however what humans generally do is that they delete something which is also useful a happy experience is deleted more faster than the bad experience we'll go there later so that's the first part which you did you deleted the colors and you had only yellow and the shade of the yellow yellow and the shade of the wheel and the shade of the yellow you like and then you generalized shade of the yellow the shape of the parrot the size of the parrot right you you also picked up maybe the eyes the different eyes the way the eyes were maybe blinking someone might have had the wings and you could see the wings flapping or for someone it would be flying in the clouds for someone it could be sitting what was your parrot doing for someone it could be eating the nut for someone it could be like seeing that different color of the nose for someone it could be in the cage or for someone it could not be in the cage maybe in the cage happy maybe in the cage sad and now you have more different experience of this yellow parrot the way you are gathering new information and now you are going back and finding out oh how did my yellow parrot looked like what was that yellow parrot doing and you're becoming more aware of it now as you're gathering this information by listening to me and you're noticing new experience maybe these are with the older one and you're adding some information there so you generalized the shape and the size you got a new map now and now this is a new experience of the way the yellow parrot looks like experience is distorted in the way we distort the experience based on deletion and generalization and other filters and we distort the experience the way the experience is experience is only an experience until we give a label to that experience happy or sad and it is distorted based only on our own maps yeah it's just our own way of distortion and you have now a new distortion of this yellow parrot a new experience you have created of this yellow parrot vis-a-vis the old experience just now few minutes back which you had in a new way and this you can call it more awareness or more focus or more different experience or more maps you are releasing this new internal experience you are releasing this new internal experience of this yellow parrot in this new representation and maybe now when you're receiving this input you delete it you generalize you distort it and whenever you are going to be asked about the parrot or about the green parrot suddenly the yellow parrot might come in to you that might also happen to you or you just think about that yellow parrot the way the yellow parrot is so what actually happened in this process one you receive the input before you receive you see you hear you feel you also have the other senses which is you taste and you smell then you process with the filters you delete you generalize you distort you use the language as one of the filters while you were hearing it to me you were using language as a filter 
and then you were feeding it back to your own self oh the parrot looks like that oh yeah there is a nose oh yeah there are wings oh yeah their wings are this size this is that and you are able to notice the different experience the way it is now and then you could feed it back and you created a new experience based on that feedback given by yourself internally and then you have an internal experience which now can be represented as an output to anyone verbally or the way you're feeling now with this feeling of the yellow parrot internally as non-verbally so the output can be either in a verbal form or it can be in a non-verbal form based on response feelings actions internally or based on words externally so this is about how do you process information so this means that we have been only processing information from our own map of reality and not the reality itself so i am now introducing you to the presupposition of nlp the presupposition of nlp and the terminologies of nlp map is not the territory we respond to our own maps of reality and not the reality itself you just now had an experience of how do you process information in your mind so think about this there's so many users listening to this video there are hundreds of users listening to this video everyone would have a different experience of this yellow palette isn't it right and they have their own perception of how are they perceiving this information like a director of their own movie projecting the camera based on their own maps that's what the concept of map teaches you map is a concept in nlp which is very useful for any trainer coach or anyone to understand and it's a very useful concept for people to utilize it in their real lives now what does this map concept means like based on the epistemology of black box everyone is processing information differently and everyone is processing information all the time based on their inputs and outputs the way they are experiencing and their unconscious is sending the data and all of this is going on which means that they have their own maps and they are using their own maps in their own ways and in their own styles which also means that there is no right and wrong whenever you are responding to any communication to any one whether at work and whether at personal level you are responding to the communication based on your map of reality of what you think is reality rather than the reality did you understand and when i say map is not the territory what we focus using nlp is one how do we process our maps and can we expand our maps can we create new maps and can we also match our maps with the other person in our relationships for that we will have to understand how does the other person also processes their maps how do they use their own filters what are they doing internally to process that map and that is what we are going to learn in the next video we are going to touch upon the different way people process information using senses having their different maps and then can i utilize that as a strategy to expand maps create new and match others as well think about it you must have heard these basic lines by people before interviews everyone feels nervous whose map is that he saying means that i am going to feel bad about it is he saying and you are feeling bad or you are feeling bad he is going to say whose map is that leaving a job and starting a coaching business is a tough game not possible whose map so can we expand these maps for self growth let's hear about maps process of maps using senses and matching and expanding these maps for creating resourceful states for us till then keep experiencing your yellow parrot to know how are you processing information 
remember what you just learned is a new map and you can use this concept of map just by repeating this line to your loved ones hey honey i respect your map and what i suggest is da -da 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 -da. so i'm respecting each and every person's map because now i know with this video that everyone's map is different and everyone is processing information differently all the time and now how is your toe